is Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I enjoy wearing dresses, and my favorite color was pink, can you tell? <laughs> and when I wore dresses, they made me feel valuable. They made me feel important. But there was a problem. My father was a fireman, and I was born into a working class family. So my desire to have princess dresses was in the creativity of my mind. And with that, I would dress my dolls, and they were beautiful. It's 1960. I'm in the first grade at Dorida School Elementary. I know what you think. I wasn't even born in 1960. <laughs> but that was an era when women wore beautiful dresses, and they felt important. My teacher, Miss Chris, was there with us, and we were sitting in our classes. Our project was over, and it was time for break. So she released us, and what normally happened, we would go to the restroom, and then go to the bathroom, come back in and play with our classmates. So I had finished my water, and I came in to play with my little girlfriends. And I had spotted a little girl that had the most beautiful dress. And I knew that dress was expensive. And she wanted everyone to know as well. So she comes out and she says, look at my new dress. When she said that, all the little girls surrounded her. And she began to tell them about this dress. She talked from the top to the slip to the shoes and the socks. And all the girls' eyes were lit up and smiling. And you knew we all wanted a dress like that. And then she started talking about the slip. If you remember, or you were back in those days, a Kremlin slip was popular. It was a very stiff material, and it stood out, and it caused your dress to look like a bell. She had one of those Kremlin slips, and it had bows all around it. She had lifted the slip so we could see it. But not only did she have bows, she had a very small inner tube that was inflated around her dress that was sewn to it. It was elite. My eyes bugged out because I'd never seen anything like that before. And as we were looking, she looked at me with a smirk, and she said, you are poor. Your daddy can't afford a dress or a slip like this. And her productivity caused me to bite my lip. And I stood back, and all the girls started laughing. And I turned around, and all of a sudden, I felt something I'd never felt before. And I didn't like it. Suddenly, tears rolled up in my eyes and started falling out of my face. I walked towards my desk, and I sat down and quickly wiped the tears from my face. And I looked at a book, pretending like I was reading. I was only in the first grade. But I got through the day, and no one knew that I cried. So when I got home, I ran to tell my mom what had happened. She was cooking, and she was busy with dinner, and she listened to my story, and I told her what had happened, how it made me feel, and how I cried. And she says to me, Cindy, what do you think I'm made out of, money? We can't afford a dress like that. You've got a brother and sister that needs clothes. Now go outside and play. I'm cooking dinner. And when she said that, something on the inside of me welled up again that I didn't like. So I ran out the door, and as I did, tears rolled up in my eyes, and I started crying, but my sister had followed me out there, and her words comforted me. She said to me, Cindy, don't cry. It's okay. And when she said those comforting words, something rose up on the inside of me, and I said, one day, my dream will come true. But what I didn't know is that it would come in different packages. So go with me to 1986. I am 32 years old, and I have two children, Matthew, who's eight, and Monica, who is six. 
and Monica wants a new dress for Easter, and I have saved my money for her to have the dress that she wanted. We're at the mall, the Eastland Mall in Charlotte. And yes, they had malls back in 1986. <laughs> and we were shopping. We got to a local department store, and I said to Monica, go get your dress. Her eyes lit up. She smiled, and she looked like a race car going down the track. And I could follow her by her giggles and her laughter. And once I got there, her voice changed, and I heard her say, Mommy, I found my dress. And when I got to her, she had the most beautiful pink dress pulled up over her shoulders. She says, isn't it beautiful? And with my budget mind, I said, let me see how beautiful it is. So I grabbed the <laughs> price tag, and I looked at it, and I smiled because it was right within our budget. We bought that dress that day, and it was beautiful. And she twirled around, and she smiled, and I knew she felt valuable. She felt important. And I knew right then my dream had come true. Now, come with me back to this room. You're all seated here with me as I stand before you, once as a little girl, then as a mother, and and now, I'm a grandmother of five. And one of the little girls is named Mackenzie. She's six years old, and she loves dresses. She makes me look like a little diva, but she is the big diva. And she wears dresses any moment that she can. A month ago, she went with my son Matthew to a daddy-daughter dance and they were able to afford to buy her the most beautiful pink dress. The day of the dance, she got dressed before her father, and she waited in the living room right next to the fireplace till he could come see her. She kept calling, Daddy, are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? He says, I'm getting ready, honey. Finally, the day of the dance, He's ready, and he dresses up, and he walks into the living room for the first time, and this is what he saw. <laughs> Mackenzie. And he said, Mackenzie, you are so beautiful. And she says, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that day they had a wonderful time, and I heard stories about it. But the story did not make sense or even touch my heart until I saw the picture. And when I saw this picture that was sent to me, I knew, again, my dream had come true. But it came true in a different package. So the moral of this story is the pink dress. The pink dress signifies your dream but not just your dreams, your believed dreams. And this is what I believe. You are valuable. You are important. And your believed dreams will come true. So look for them, because they will show up in a different package.